Three similar coils, each of the resistance 40 ohms and the inductance 2 Henry, are connected in star and delta to the 3 phase 50 Hz, 350 volt supply. Calculate the line current and the total power absorbed. We have R1 equals R2 equals R3 equals 40 ohms. L1 equals L2 equals L3 equals 2 Henry's. F equals 50 hertz and applied voltage equals 350 volts. We need to find the value of the line current and the total power absorbed by the circuit in both star as well as delta connections. The formulae that we need are for the star system. Phase voltage equals line voltage upon root 3. The phase current equals phase voltage upon impedance and the line current equals the phase current. For the delta system, the phase voltage equals the line voltage. The phase current equals the phase voltage upon the impedance and the line current equals root 3 into the phase current. So let's start for the star connection first. The reactance is calculated as XL equals 2 pi into F into L which comes out to be 628.31 ohms. As the system is stable, all the impedances are same and equal to ZPH. Thus ZPH equals R plus JXL equals 40 plus J629.58 ohms. The phase voltage VPH equals VL upon root 3 equals 202.07 volts. The phase current equals IPH equals VPH upon ZPH equals 320 milliamperes. Now for the star connection VL equals root 3 VPH equals 350 volts and IL equals IPH equals 320 milliamperes. The total power absorbed is given by P equals root 3 into VL IL cos phi that comes out to be 12.34 volts. For delta connected system, ZPH remains the same. For delta connection, we have VL equals VPH equals 350 volts and IPH equals VPH upon ZPH equals 320 milliamperes. IL equals root 3 into IPH equals 554 milliamperes. The total power consumed is calculated as P equals root 3 into VLIL cos 5 equals 21.39 watts.